absolutely revolting. So um, it was like, yeah, it's not what you want to be looking at, but also it is. So there you go. Yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's the world we live in. It's a beautiful world. So you're learning a lot about yourself, is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm basically I'm learning. I love watching one snake come out of another snake. Do you know what I mean? That's what I love. That I've learned that that's like a thing I really enjoy. Uh, and again, an equal, an equal, an equal measures hate. Maybe something that you'll take with you after this is done. Yeah, well, a lot of people have been have been learning new skills or whatever, and I'm just going to take it out. Like, oh, you guys need to see this. Like, this this like big snake, and it opens up. On one side, it opens up, and it just the, oh, you think, well, what's going to happen here? And it's another snake that comes out. So I'll be. That's what I'll be doing after after. I'm COVID. intrigued. You have me. You you roped me in. Go look at it. Go look at it. I found out that seventy percent of snakes, you're going to get eggs. Thirty <laughs> percent, you're going to get little live snakes, and they you're are going to get another snake. Yeah, they are little wet snakes, and you do not want to see a. Let me tell you, a wet snake is is pretty gross. Have you found time in between snake videos to like uh, write a little bit or? No, I've been watching snake vids 24-7, my man. Uh, yeah, I've been writing a second album, but uh, the content of which, like, you know, I've been trying to get emotional and try to write these songs from an emotional place. And um, I've now realized that the, the entirety of the album's um, lyrical content is going to be uh, revolved around one snake coming out of another snake's <laughs> ass. So that's just your first lead single off the next album. I like yep. that. Yep. And one I'm snake, not talking about that enough. One snake inside another. That's the hook. So I can't, <laughs> again, can't, can't wait to play that on 96.5 today. Do you know what I mean? it's, a, it's a little nail on the head, but I like it. I like it. Uh, you got to be. Sometimes you got to give the people, they don't want metaphors. That's so, that's right. so. But then is that metaphor? One snake inside another. What's he talking about? Let's dissect mm. those lyrics a little bit. Do you know what I mean? What could the possibly like, mean? Like, like, am I the little snake? Yeah, am I the little snake? But then, obviously, also, I do, like, one of those genius interviews and when I discuss the lyrics and I say, no, it's genuinely about one snake inside another. So I hope I hope someone takes that and puts it in, like, a little auto-tune clip and, and all the rest of it. So that would be quite... I'd, I'd enjoy that. So if anyone's watching who has the capability to do that, Please, uh, I'll do it again. One snake inside another. Thank <laughs> you. It's already stuck in my head. I don't know how you do this, Lewis Capaldi. Oh, how so do you do this? It's You're a magic business man. In making hits. The business and making hits, my friend. And let the money pour in. You, you are now uh, officially not a one-hit wonder anymore. So how about that? It's pretty exciting. It's a pretty exciting. It's de I definitely, that was a, a real concern. A strong concern for quite some time, but thanks to lovely people like yourself, um, uh, people that uh, you're playing on the radio, and it's a beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty surprised. I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> but we, we talked about this when when we last uh, hugged each other. You were you were genuinely concerned that you were a one hit wonder. Yeah, I, well, it's just because you never. No, really not any longer. But that's it. It's, it's very very strange. But one thing I'm not worried about is only being a two-hit wonder because I've got in my back pocket one snake inside another. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've, I've some of that tucked away. Lovely. Good to know that that one's in the bag. Here we you come, number one. Gems. I've, I've got so much going on here. I've got so much going on. So much going on. <laughs> What's the worst meme your mom has showed you? Your mom's been showing you memes now. I've been hearing about that. Memes and like videos, and it's always I don't know what it is about like middle aged men and women, right? Middle aged men and women love and they think nudity is hilarious. Mm. Like, my mom, my mom and dad, if you show them a video of like they could be watching like an hour of like Dave Chappelle's best stand up and they'll and they'll chuckle along, right? If you show them a video of like a grown man having his trousers pulled down and he's exposed, my mom and dad will be in fits. And crying. There's this. So there's this video where um, there's this. It's like a Scottish couple, right? A, 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 a man and a, a man and a, a man and his wife. And the man is his wife said, right. So put your put your elbows inside your like show, your t-shirt sleeves. So basically, he's like this, and his elbows <laughs> sticking out his t-shirt sleeves, and he's standing like that, and he can't move his arms. And when I first saw the video, I thought the woman was going to slap him. And he couldn't do anything because his hands are thinking. But she goes round the back and she pulls his trousers down, exposing his 
let's I'm going to be honest with you, rather underwhelming phallus. It's an underwhelming penis for sure. <laughs> and uh, and my mum and dad absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Now, it was honestly, they were in bits. And um, and yeah, that's probably, that's, I don't know if it's the best or worst, but it's, it's stuck in my memory for sure. That that I will not forget that penis in a hurry. No way. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently this has rubbed off on you because you're watching snake videos all day. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really like a quality fam. Poor choice of words there. Then it rubbed off on me. Poor <laughs> choice of words, my friend. Come on. <laughs> oh, who knew I'd be talking to you about snakes and penises for ten minutes? Well, hey, they're in the same family. Both, both, both long, slightly. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I guess like, I should talk to you about your song before yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah, we should. Um, you could write a song that, like, you could write a song about anything and make me cry. Like, you could write a song about vegetable or snakes. The, or snakes. Any reptile. Any reptile. Yeah, any sort of that that kind of family. I once there was a song that um, we were at, um, we played a show. Here's another another new hit for you. We played a show with Mr. Ed Sheeran. Uh, last year and it was like his last two shows and he, I remember after what the first show he got loads of KFC and for some reason me and my piano player we were drinking a little bit and uh, and we started singing chicken reminds me of times gone by and I, and I still remember it to this day and uh, I have a video somewhere of myself and Mr Sheeran singing chicken reminds me of times gone by and it's a beautiful thing so hopefully that that, that won't get you too, too, too emotional either <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. And before you go, I I feel like we should. Oh, oh, oh come on! Before you go, oh, nailed you know it. I didn't even mean to do that, Lewis. I'm just that damn good. You're a pro. You're a pro. Everyone, everyone says it. Everyone says it. Everyone says it. <laughs> they're saying it on their balconies right now. If you go outside, yeah, and they're all cheating. They're cheating for you. They're, 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 they're watching this IG live on their balconies. And that's it. And that's it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, how does the snake song? I forgot it. Uh, snake inside. One snake inside another. Chicken reminds me of times gone by. Before you go. I oh. was getting kind of used to being someone you love. See, in two years' time, those will be four of my hits that I've just sang. Right now, it's just one and a half hit and, and two unknowns. But tr rest assured, my friend, those, all four of those will be, will be big songs by 2022, for sure. Like now, what I call music, 70,000, it's all going to be your songs. You're going to be on. the whole album. It's all going to be on there and very, like, very animal-related animal chickens and snakes. <laughs> Yeah, very animal oriented. That's why I like you. You bring sure. Thank content. You. I love I love animals. I love animals. What can I say? <laughs> Lewis, there's only one person in this world that could you know bring us joy in this time, and like right after Ellen, that's you. You are like you're right. You're right in there. Oh well, thank you very much. I'm glad that I'm right in there, just like a snake inside of another snake being right in there. Come on. Woo. We're all about those transitions, boy. Woo. Come on, always bring it back. Always bring it back. <laughs> I love it, man. I I love you so much, man. You are uh, <laughs> you are <laughs> you're one of my favorite people in the world. It's so good to see you. Thank you, man. It's excellent to see you. Thank you very much for talking to me. Stay safe. I love and I miss you. I love and I miss you. Love, miss you too, brother. Be good. Bye, I'll bye. talk to you soon. See you later. <laughs>